annual Pikes Peak Peace Officers Memorial took place this morning at Memorial Park. We wait for our community members to honor officers who have served and then died in the line of duty. Besides, Jesse Portillo is in studio with more on the remembrance and always a very emotional day for families and our local law enforcement community. Yeah, Rob, it is. And this year, two new families heard the names of their loved ones who were added to that memorial wall while members of local law enforcement remembered their brothers and sisters who they've lost. Sadly, this year we've added two more names to our memorial wall. This year, Fountain Police Officer Julian Becerra lost his life. He died less than a week after falling from a 40-foot bridge in southern Colorado Springs. It happened during a pursuit on February 2nd. And last year, the El Paso County community mourned the loss of Deputy Andrew Peary. He was killed on August 7th while responding to a shooting in security. Their names among the 35 read. Andrew S. Peary, a Pass County Sheriff's Office. Julian G. Becerra, Found Police Department. The dark, cloudy weather reflected the somber environment. The weather that we have here today is very fitting, uh, fitting for the mood and the emotions that we are feeling. El Paso County Sheriff Joseph Royball was the undersheriff when Deputy Peary lost his life. It is hard to explain the emotions that you feel as people have to deal with their emotions and move on, uh, recognizing that they have to continue to serve. Colorado Springs Chief of Police Adrian Vasquez said they recognize the heroism and bravery from law enforcement. But every single day they're still going out there donning this uniform and going out and answering calls for service. The memorial, a time to bring people together after tragedy. I think all of us really truly feel uh, that major concern. We truly are a family and we understand what it's like and how quickly things can go uh, badly. And days like today taking an emotional toll on everyone. Music in the background, the cries of the family that we hear, uh, it is very, very emotional. Back in 1962, President John F. Kennedy proclaimed May 15th as National Peace Officers Memorial Day. He also declared this calendar week here in May as National Police Week.